Hey, what's up you freak bags? In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the introduction to sets. Or another way you can think about it is how could you prevent duplicate items in a list? It's actually not gonna be a list data structure we're gonna use as set, but it works in a similar way. It's like a list with no duplicates. So this is a list and we can have sword in here three times and that's totally fine. As we learned in the previous video, you can do something like backpack.count and check for a value. This will give you three, so all of those exist in the list, and if you went ahead and just printed the list as is, you would see that all of them exist in there still. So you get sword, rubber duck, slice of pizza, parachute, and then two more swords. With a set, it works a little bit different, and here's how you create a set. So we'll just say backpack two, and instead of using square brackets, you use curly braces, and then you use it the same exact way. So we can throw a sword in here, we can throw in a rubber duck. We can throw in a slice of pizza, which I don't know how you guys could just throw it. It's so disrespectful. And then we'll go ahead and add a parachute. And then lastly, another sword. And we'll just keep off that last sword because this one's gonna be ignored anyways. And I just wanna show you that. So when I go ahead and print backpack two and run this, you can see it says slice of pizza, sword, rubber duck, and parachute. Sword is only in there one time. So adding an extra one doesn't cause an issue. We don't get an error. However, it just doesn't get added. Another thing you should note is that the order does not stay the same. So slice of pizza actually shows up first, even though we put that in here third. So you should use sets if you need a unique list and also if you do not care about order. So the purpose of sets is to basically see if something has been added or not. It's a yes or no kind of thing. So when we're working with this, we're not gonna be able to do backpack2.count because it doesn't really make sense. We know there's never more than one, so getting the count doesn't really make sense. So instead, what we would do is we would say sword in backpack2. And in this situation, it's going to tell us true. So that is how you check if something is in there. So to conclude, one more time, sets are useful if you don't want duplicate data and the order of the data does not matter. We're gonna be using sets throughout the rest of the series, so stay tuned for that.